we're going to look at now is the curve path. The curve path will allow you to move your object uh, or your column along a path. Um, if we click on the arrow over here, it will show a path over there. Now there are a couple of ways you can generate a curve for the curve path. You can generate with, with the vector brush if you have the node selected and draw it will allow you to define the curve that way. You can also copy and paste the curve or you can use your control point editor and if you select the node you'll see an orange line over here. We select that it will give us the curve path. The curve path will be edited as any other vector line can be edited. So control will add points, alt will allow me to break the handles. When we connect a curved node to a column node, we will see the two squares appear. These squares define the orientation of the column and the column center will move to the start of the curve. The first node, or should I say first square, will decide, determine whether your column fo follows the orientation of the curve. The second one will determine as to whether the control points in the curve will affect how it moves along the path of the curve. Now the, the drawing which is attached to the curve will travel along the curve in a percentage ratio, with it starting out at zero and finishing at a hundred percent. And you can modify that where it is with the position when you're using the edit tool. But there are numerous other ways of modifying it which can be far more useful under certain circumstances. Now to modify the, uh, the movement along the path in more specific ways, I will bring up the function editor. The function editor dock it over here for now. And the function editor will give numerous different options. Um, now, to edit any single object, if we click on the folder, it will add all of the parameters in that object to the view over here. If we only want a single parameter, we can click on only the single parameter. Any parameters which are highlighted will show up in the table over here. And there are a number of ways in which we can modify these parameters. What I'll do is just drag this down, give myself space to work with, frames. Um, so you can set values manually over here for any specific number of frames. Um, and there are various options you can use in order to ease in, ease out, give single values, give curves. You can also use expressions. So for example, if we said um, Something like
whenever writing expressions, the value f is important because that is the frame number. And most expressions will not work if you are not giving something like the frame number to So that will give me a function and will give me some rather strange values. Now if we want to see what the motion we have generated looks like, we can click on this over here and we will see that we have a cosine curve over here. Um, if we click on this point, we can choose any of the parameters in the same way as which I have chosen the path parameter. Path parameter will refer spe specifically to the way you travel along a path. I'm just going to give it a Standard animation over here. This is a keyframe at zero at the beginning and 100 at the end, which will give me an animation where it will travel along the path. Now, if we click on the function curve editor, we will see that we have a curve. And there are various ways in which we can deal with it. this curve. We can set it to linear interpolation. If we right click on it, we will get a number of possibilities in terms of changing the speed in and out. It will give us a ease in and out of the motion. We can do it over percentage, we can do exponential interp interpolation. We can also edit the curve manually. If we push control, we add a point to the curve. If we right click on that, we can choose to unlink the handles and edit them manually. To edit them, you have to hold control. To edit any of the points on the curve manually, you have to hold Control down. Um, and you can get quite a fine level of control on how it will interpret later along the curve by editing the function curve editor rather than trying to always manually key it along the curve. One of the limitations of the curve path comes with when you are dealing with the depth of the scene um, or the Z direction of the scene. Um, now Tunes is actually laid out in 3D and with the 3D view you can click on these two arrows to give you a side view or a top view. Um, but you unfortunately cannot move any of the curve points in the Z direction. In order to move anything in the Z direction, um, you would need to create a peg and create the Z movement through that peg the moment it has a curve, or move the column in Z. Now to move in Z we would hold down control. See these ar this arrow here turns green and we could then move 
in the Z direction, um, which has numerous applications, both in terms of cutout animation and in terms of camera movements.